All right, and it looks like we are live. How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Junior, and I want to welcome you all back to the Daily Digital, uh, the one show that we keep you all well informed of what's going on in this digital world around us. There's a lot of technology that's been going on behind the scenes that are really taking over uh, our worlds, and I just want to make sure everybody is kept up to date with it. Today is July 9th, and we have a couple of topics to discuss here today, all of them surrounding our shopping experience. Our shopping experience is no longer just going to be people walking into the stores and buying what they see on the shelves or even, you know, Amazon just ordering something online. It's going to take it a bit further. Uh, so we have about four or five things to touch on with that. Uh, before we get started, we will take a quick break and we'll then we jump right into it. All right. So, um, we have mostly videos here today. Uh, all of them are pretty short. I think the longest one is like three minutes long. Uh, I generally don't like to play the whole video out just because I don't want to make the uh, show all about just one topic. Uh, but most of them that I have here is just going to be a couple of videos because it's really important that you guys kind of see how this technology is taking place and how people are actually using it uh, versus just reading an article. That's just my personal opinion. So the first one comes from a company called Kroger. Uh, it's a little known grocery store. And what they have here are basically shopping carts that are completely digital. So they call them smart carts. You've heard of smartphones, smart watches, and smart TVs. Well, you can now add smart carts to the list as Kroger rolls out its new digital shopping carts. Aaron Rolf shows us Kroger's newest experiment with in-store technology. Digital shopping carts that ring up your purchase as you go. We bagged up some sweet potatoes, told the uh, cart what we were doing, and then you put it right into the base, and it weighs it, and the little avocado will tell you how much it weighs. The Madeira Kroger has been testing these carts since January. As Erin walks through the store, she grabs apples, lemon juice, and more. Scanning each item into the Krogo cart, designed by a New York startup called Caper. Shopper Anisha Ham has used the cart and loves it. Have you tried one? Yes, I have. I think they're fast. So as you can see there, Kroger has now rolled out shopping carts that can actually pretty much do all the work that a regular store clerk would be able to do. Um, as soon as you go in, you get all your items, you go ahead and weigh them if you need to weigh them, uh, or you just go ahead and scan them and place them in your cart. And then the little kiosk thing there shows everything that you have in your cart. And then from there, you can also go ahead and buy them. Uh, majority of it is going to be all... Um, credit card usage, debit card usage, uh, but I can definitely see how everything is shifting. Cryptocurrency is going to play a large role in that as well, being able to purchase your items with cryptocurrency. Um, there's not going to be any more cash you know, payments or um, coin payments or anything like that as well. Um, so it's really interesting to see how those smart cards really take off. I'm not sure how many stores Kroger's has rolled that out into. But as time will tell, we'll see if they actually do hang around for the long run. Alrighty, and the next one here is a mobile app in which, for example, if you went to a large um, mall or something like that and you parked your car, you couldn't find your car, there's already apps out there that'll help you locate your vehicle. But I don't think there has been any of them that actually locate the items that you went to go in there into the store to buy. One company is actually rolling out GPS on a mobile app that will actually be able to sync up with the store that you're at and then you can also walk around the store using your mobile device and find all of your items um and here's a quick video on that as well at the front of the store i'm gonna search for milk so now it shows me a map of the store it shows me where the milk is it zooms in on where i am and then if i hold the phone upwards i get augmented reality by using AR to understand where you are and to guide you every step of the way. Next, when you walk into the store with a full shopping list of items, we'll reorganize it to be in the right order so you can find everything that you need. So people love using the camera to get around and to find the essentials, but we've taken the precise location from AR and we've brought it to a new interface, the compass. So 
So as you guys saw there, um, my opinion, that's getting a little bit dangerous. There's already a lot of people who walk around uh, in the streets and stuff like that about to get hit by cars because they're too busy looking down at their cellular devices. Um, so now you're going to have to worry about you walking in a store with a cart while looking at your cellular device um, or you know tablet or whatever and have to worry about other people pretty much doing the exact same things. Who knows if they're going to be paying attention to you or to anybody else. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be kind of interesting. It's going to be a lot of and um, a lot of I don't call them elderly, but a lot of elderly people who aren't going to be used to that versus a lot of younger people who are going to be using it quite more often. And it's going to be, in my opinion, a little bit of a clash. Uh, of course, the technology is interesting. Of course, it's pretty cool, um, but you have to find a way to manage it and do it in a safe manner. All right. So then the next one. We've all heard of Walmart. Um, we have seen how Walmart has shifted gears quite a bit with their stores. Uh, a lot of Walmart stores have been closing in the past years as well. Um, and I think it's because of one reason and one reason only is that everything is shifting to online. Everything is becoming more digital. And I think they want to be at the forefront of that as well. Uh, there's a video I'm about to show you here now that shows basically how Walmart is utilizing uh, virtual reality not just augmented reality but now virtual reality in order to basically help people shop a lot easier a lot faster and as you know there's a lot of people who use um, uh, mobile services to get their products from stores whether it's uh, um, what's it called Whole Foods by Amazon or whether it is Walmart they have someone go do the shopping for them either they drive up to the store park and then wait for them to bring it out to them or they actually have people who go to the stores, shop for them, and bring it directly to their house. Uh, now they don't have to just do it on their phones. They can actually do it in a virtual reality space. I will be your shopping assistant module today, but you can call me Sam for short. Okay, let's get started. I have your shopping list loaded up, and I'm tracking your oil change so I can let you know as soon as it's done. Now that's the wildest part there. It's like they went and they dropped off their grocery or they went and dropped off their car to get an oil change inside of Walmart and then they synced up everything to where they go into this virtual space and actually do the shopping and everything just I mean this wow. You see the tomato sauce on your left? Go ahead and grab that and then place it in your cart. Great. Looks like you need a good wine pairing. Take a look to your right. Your age has already been pre-verified through your profile, so no need to wait for an ID check. Just place the item in your cart whenever you're ready. So for those who don't know out there, uh, wine actually does pair very, pair very well with certain different types of foods. And what it sounds like is that based on their... Um, shopping list they know exactly what type of food they're going to make and then they just kind of guess what wine would go good with it um that's the same with like beer i heard um that you can actually pair beer with some certain type of foods and then you can actually get the full experience of it um and since they have an account already it's already pre-verified their age uh, as a legal limit for drinking in that area notification from your connected smart fridge. It looks like you already have a full gallon of milk at home. Should we put this one back? All right, so I hope you all caught that. The Sam module assistant thing said they she was getting a notification from their smart fridge telling her that they already had a full gallon of milk inside their fridge now who knows how far away from the store that they actually live um but now with all these smart devices smart fridges smart 
microwave, smart, whatever have you. Um, they're all able to connect onto the system now, uh, possibly even using some blockchain technology. And they're all probably just speaking to one another saying, hey, uh, we already have milk, we already have cheese, we already have whatever. There's no need to actually go ahead and buy some, uh, which again is actually pretty, pretty wild for all that technology to sync up so quite well. Good news, your oil change is done. Your vehicle will be ready at the Tire and Live Express. I've added the surface charge to your car. Now for the fun stuff. To electronics! You definitely saved the best for last. This TV has great reviews on Walmart.com. Add it to your cart, and I'll have it brought to the front for you. Need any accessories? Here are some options on Jet.com. Yeah, so that is a lot to unpack there. Um, in my opinion, it is pretty wild how everything is going to change, how everything is going to work. Uh, I believe that video there was maybe like three, four years ago in 2018. Um, where Walmart kind of rolled this out. So this is even before the pandemic. This is pre-pandemic when they had this vision uh, idea of how they wanted all this to work. Um, so right now, everything is really just taking um, its toll. Everything is falling in place. All the, um, the I's are getting dotted. All the T's are getting crossed. Um, so we may actually be seeing this here pretty soon. All right. And now the next one here um, is not even just going to the store. Now we can just bring the store to us. Um, Ikea, here it is, uh, Ikea has already launched way back in 2017 a augmented reality application in which you can go ahead and scan your room inside your house if you're looking for some new furniture and then from there you would be able to um, grab some of their uh, products straight from their catalog, their online catalog and use augmented reality to go ahead and place those items inside of your home. So as you can see here, where is it at? Um, as you can see here, they want to buy this couch. Everything is sized properly and they have it on their tablet. You can kind of see the rug matches up with the rug inside the room and everything. Uh, the table on the right matches up as well. So you can kind of guess what it will look like in your space without having to go to the store, you know, blindly guess what it is and then actually bring it back, bring a tape measure to the store also, make sure everything lines up. Um, here is a red couch they want to place in that corner, seeing how it fits. Um, here they just have a chair next to a fireplace. I mean, everything just kind of works out to be where it is a seamless process for you to be able to purchase something without having to guess whether it'll look good or guess whether it'll fit. And then bringing that in with augmented reality technology through your mobile device, through your tablet device, um, and then actually place it in the room to where you can actually see it, view it, and make sure it is the best fit for you. Um, they are not the only company that has been doing it. Amazon actually rolled that out as well. I don't believe I have an article on that one, but Walmart, here we go back again with Walmart. Walmart is actually doing that as well. June 23rd, 2022, which was literally just about a month ago, they said that they will be rolling this out to consumers um, this month in July. Um, and their biggest thing is people going back to school for college and stuff like that. This is a short video here. It's like 30 seconds, I think. So you see down there at the bottom launches July 2022 um, so it's actually already been launched I believe I'm not sure the actual date but it may already be be launched as well um, so you can just go ahead use that augmented reality place it inside your room dorm room um, commercial office or whatever building uh, that you are in and then from there go ahead and pick a color pick a size 
pick whatever and then go ahead and purchase it directly from their app. Uh, so again, there will be no need for you to actually go inside a Walmart store, which is going to be pretty wild because like I said, Walmarts are, you know, decreasing the amount of stores that they have uh, open already. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We may be seeing where there's going to be a lot of empty buildings, a lot of empty commercial spaces uh, due to stuff like this, where all they have now is just warehouses. Since you are able to pick and choose what you want through augmented reality without even leaving your home and then just have them deliver it directly to you, what would be the purpose of actually having a brick and mortar store? So um, that's all I have here for you guys today. Please be sure to check out all the links in the description below to learn more about them. Um, and you know, touch back in with me. Let me know your guys' thoughts and what you think about all this new technology that's going around. Uh, I would love to hear from you all. Until next time, take it easy, and uh, I'll see you later.